Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here for Simon Says Stamp and part of their fun and festive release. Yes, it is live now. There are some wonderful products in this. And the item that I received to play with was the Tiny Words Christmas. Now, I have the other Tiny Words uh, sentiments, and these are really tiny. I mean, we're looking at like an eighth of an inch high. And sometimes when we look at those, we're not quite sure what we want to do with them. Well, here we go. I dug into my stash and I pulled out, I love these dies that you just place on your cardstock and it's like a cutout. I think they're great. Some people think, okay, we can do in like die, die cuts and you can. What I like to do, I think these dies and these sentiments are going to be perfect for mass producing cards. So I'm just going to show you a couple versions of some cards that you can make. So instead of using the standard four and a quarter by five and a half, a two size, let's make some different sizes. So this card is actually three and a half by four and a half, and that's the card base. Dig into your pattern papers. You all know we have them. We, we collect them. We hoard them. We, we love them. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I have more pattern paper, but I absolutely love it, and I'll never get rid of it. And I keep buying more. But if you just simply take a piece of pattern paper, cut it down, then cut another piece of white paper, just slightly smaller, so if you've cut your pattern paper by four and a quarter by three and a quarter, that's going to give you a border around the outside of your card base. If you cut what we're die cutting into to be three by four, you're still going to get another border going around. So instead of trying, you know, maybe you don't have frame dies. Maybe you don't want to create a frame. This is a very easy way to create that very simply just using a cutter. I've die cut my tree. I love the tree. Save the snowflakes that come out of the tree. Yes, I almost moved them away and couldn't find them. We will do something with those. I'm going to use my embossing ink. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now, again, these are very tiny, very, very tiny. And I'm going to use my gold embossing powder. Now, that sentiment reads, you light up my Christmas tray. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, to move things around here. So you light up my Christmas tray. So I thought it was fitting. I put a lot of foam tape on the back. Now this is uh, the 120 pound paper. So it's very thick because I really didn't cut, didn't want to cut um, foam squares that small under the tray. I just positioned that on top of my pattern paper and I'm gonna use my tape runner down and set that right down onto my card base. These cards, each that I'm showing you, take little, <clears throat> excuse me, to no time at all. Again, just dig into that paper stash. And just by making your cuts a quarter size smaller for each level, you're going to automatically have your border. I took these cute little snowflakes, and even though they're white, that's okay. You're just going to give the silhouette of a snowflake that's in there so it's raised and that's our first one so and again again that's using regular pattern paper tone on tone you can still see the stripes for this one this card is going to be a three and a half by three and a half card base so you would cut that three and a half by seven now all the measurements that i used here are going to be down on my blog so i'll have a link to my blog so that you can get those and I'll probably have a printout that you can print out if you're very interested in doing all of these or if you have something similar. So I used the ornament die and it's this was one of my favorites. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now definitely you can do an inlay die cut on this. But again, I, I was very excited there. Could you tell? 
but I really wanted to go into my glitter paper. I'm, I'm getting a, a stash of, of glitter paper and I figured what a perfect time. Now, when I put my double-sided foam tape on the back of that, I do like to put a little bit of liquid glue just to make sure that it gets down into the glitter cardstock. This is not a clear, uh, smooth glitter cardstock. And I'm going to set that on my panel. So the red glitter is cut three by three and the white was cut two and three quarters by two and three quarters with the die cut centered on the center. I grabbed a piece of black cardstock from my stash and I'm going to use my embossing ink again and I'm going to stamp my sentiment and this sentiment that I chose was Feliz Navidad. Now again, this, the tiny words Christmas pack comes with so many different sentiments, warm wishes, peace on earth, joy to the world, missing you at Christmas, blessings, peace, and love. May your Christmas dreams come true, thinking of you this Christmas, season's greetings. Jesus is the reason for the season. So it hits many levels on that. I propped that up and I set that off to the side. Now the banners that I'm using are also from Simon Says. So these are the Simon Says sentiment banner set that just was released recently. Uh, yes, had to have it. And it makes the, cutting these oh so wonderful. Yes, mm -hmm, because there is a quarter of an inch strip on there. Anyway, I grabbed a piece of my Tonic Studios scrap papers because we all know we hoard those. I used the pile of gifts from Simon Says Die, and I didn't want to put the bows back in. I really wanted the paper to shine, sh to shine through, so I'm okay with those bows being open like that. I do suggest with the Tonic Studios paper, especially this specialty paper, uh, it's got a, a very fabric feel to it, but it's not. Um, use glue, use liquid adhesive because my tape runner just picked it right up and shreds it. So again, this is a different size. That one was four and a half by four and a half. And again, just cut down four and a quarter by four and a quarter for the red, four by four for the white. I chose all I want for Christmas is you. You can see I chose the sentiment that were close to the image. Um, and I'm just looking at where I want that to go across as well. So again, since these are small sentiments, your cards don't have to be large. I chose different size cards. I figured, okay, let's make these smaller in case you have to make a lot. Um, if you are a mass producer, of Christmas cards. These are very quick and simple um, and great for mass producing. And the sentiments are perfect. It doesn't mean that you cannot use these sentiments on regular standard A2 side card or the standard size card that you use. Um, by all means, no, you can absolutely do that. I just thought these were cute with this. This card here, I actually made five and a half by three and a half, and it is a top folding. So it is a landscape card. I use the retro flakes or the retro stars um, as a die cut to go through that. And I'm using the sentiment, let it snow. And I'm stamping that three times down onto the bottom um, on a level. And again, I used my gold embossing powder for all. The glitter paper that I'm using back here is a little bit smoother. So we were good with just the fun, or excuse me, the double-sided foam tape that I used. Um, I believe this glitter paper that I used for my stash is the glitter paper from My Favorite Things, which is wonderful. It's very, very flat. It's awesome. So I think with the silver and the gold, I th to me, I like that. I think it's very striking. So these are the four different sizes of cards that we made. Um, we have some green pattern paper, glitter paper, textured paper, and all of that. Now, I found the Peyton ornament in my stash. I had bought this. I'm not quite sure. I just buy things. And I fell in love with it. So this is actually the first time I'm using it. I did use uh, my largest Simon Says stamp frame, stitch frame rectangle die. And I, stand, and I used that on white cardstock. And I used that on, again, one of the 
Tonic Studios specialty papers. I believe that is Fern. And I ran that, I'm running the white through my die cutting machine. And look at that. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Now, you all know what I'm thinking to also take that ornament, snip it from there, connect string to it, run that string up, and actually make it like a spinner card. Yes, I have to figure that out. Um, but I just, this die was just very striking to me. It's very detailed and I just had to use it. So since I used the same frame die for each panel, it's going to perfectly fit along that green and the stitches will continue through it. I did use my double-sided foam tape because I did want this raised and I am going to grab a black piece of cardstock from my stash or basically the one that was that never leaves my table pretty much. And I'm using the sentiment merry and bright. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, my gold embossing powder and I will heat set that. I am going to use the smallest banner strip die and that's the quarter of an inch. And I'm going to make sure that the merry and bright sit right in the center of the ornament. Again, I'm not using crazy card stocks. I mean, these are card stocks and pattern papers and texture papers from my stash. I'm not one when I do my Christmas cards, I have to be honest, if I do my Christmas cards, that they all have to be the same. I like just making cards and going to town. Um, so I think these would be perfect. I put that going across the ornament just to give it a little bit more stability. And I am going to use my liquid glue to adhere my panel down. Now this is a standard four and a quarter by five and a half top folding A2 card base that I am using. And you can tell the largest frame die here that I'm using, it's going to measure four by five and a quarter. So again, even on the larger size, um, they still look great. These are very versatile. They can are a great stash builder if you need sentiments. As I said, I have the other two. I keep seeing them come out and I've got to keep getting them because they are great. They are addictive. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some inspiration to get ready on the Christmas. I can't believe we are almost there. Oh my goodness, it's less than, well, just about two months. Um, so, oh my goodness. So it's going to be fun. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you're going to see a lot more coming um, on this channel. So again, all the links to the fun and festive collection will be down below. Make sure you check out all the products. They are absolutely gorgeous and very tough to make decisions on. Sorry, guys. And all the products that I used in this video, of course, will be linked down below. If I forget something, please let me know and I'll make sure that you get that link. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy your week or the rest of it. But always remember what's most important. Always be creative.